Hi, this is Irina Slutsky for Geek Entertainment Television, and I'm here with the granddaddy of us all, Doc Searles, one of the authors of the Clue Train Manifesto. And if you haven't read it, then, well, you really need to. So um, there was a part that you gave us during your speech. Can you repeat that and, and say it in a very dramatic voice? I'm still recovering from being the granddaddy of us all. <laughs> it's like I've spilled my seed everywhere, and they're all geeks now. Um, Hey. So what did I say? Uh, what was I overheard to have said? Say something, that fancy part where, but then in a dramatic voice. Um, uh, there's a line in the Clue Train Manifesto that, uh, that Chris Locke came up with that says, uh, we are not seats or eyeballs or end users or consumers and our reach exceeds your grasp. Deal with it. Which was um, a, a catalyst for us when we were writing the, the manifesto because for, for the first time it became obvious that we were... Um, we were talking about the demand side of the marketplace and not, of course, this was during the dot-com period, right, where there was money, billions of dollars flowing into companies that were... Uh, Justballs.com. Justballs.com, right. It's all about supply, right? And, and you'd make malls and you have banner ads and there were all these things that were all about new forms of supply when, in fact, the demand side had far more power than it ever had before. And later what developed with what... I call the live web. I just, I'm not the only one who's calling it the live web, but it's an, an interesting way to discriminate. Uh, we're at the syndicate conference now, and that's, you know, syndication is one of the things that happens on the part of the web that's, web that's live. And this is, the, this is the part of the web that, uh, that Technorati and PubSub and Ice Rocket and, and Feedster search, for example. And many others. We have and many to others. There's so many others. I, I, I slight them by not mentioning them all. Um, uh, that, that they search where, you know, you find what happens now. We're not consumers there. We're producers. Even in places like Flickr, right? I mean, we're, we're not... Uh, the photo industry has changed totally by the users who are not just users anymore. They're producers. So you know, how can... How can consuming film. And how can businesses make money off of all of us if we're such producers? Well, we make the money. I mean, we, we're businesses. We can, you know, there's... Screw the businesses. It's us now. No, it's like, well, no, it's, I mean, I, I, I'm a big free market guy, right? I mean, find a way to make money. I mean... You're actually a former marketing money. guy. I'm a former marketing guy, yeah. yeah. Shh. yeah. Nobody... I know. I know. I've... It's like I have a record, right? It's like, I'm sorry. I've done, I've done marketing, and uh, I'm, I'm recovered now. My name is Doc, and I'm a marketer. Doc Charles is the only person who doesn't let me get a word in edgewise. Yeah. Congratulations. Well, you have to go edgewise. You have to kind of come in from an angle like this, right? It's, uh, so so um, I like the part where you... Interrupt you and, and mention it. Okay, if you go to Flickr and look me up, there's, there's a picture that there are more people who call that a favorite. There are like thousands of people who have looked at that stupid picture, <laughs> right? What did you mean exactly when you said, I am a, not a corpuscle, I am a heart? <laughs> Okay, <laughs> it's like the telephone game, right? Only you do it from the stage. Okay, what I was saying was that the uh, that what we have with the live web is something that's more like a value constellation, right? A, a set of relationships between individuals. And I mix metaphors here. I said we're not we're not planets around us in a solar system revolving around a sun that is a company or you know. I'm a Leo too, by the way. Leo too, by the way. Yeah, um, there are constellations of people to come together and. And what makes them stars? They're all stars, and and what makes them all shine is the is the is part is freedom and liberty and all those good um, and independence and all of those good virtues. And in addition to that, participation. Okay, you have to participate. But, but wait, how am I not a corpuscle though? Okay, so so what I was saying is that what what we see with syndication, what we see with the live web, what we see with the flow of of topics that are being talked about uh, in the blogosphere. Um, is a, has a pulse, and it, it's a lot like blood. And the point that I wanted to make is that we're not corpuscles in that bloodstream. We're actually the hearts in, in that system. Aww. So we're stars, and we're hearts, and somebody <laughs> needs to construct some kind of logo out of that and start a company and make billions of dollars, right? And I won't want any of it. It's okay. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. By the time it all happens, because I'm everybody's granddaddy, right? <laughs> With yeah. a lot of gold. The Every, anytime I come to these things, I'm always the eldest one here. And so, How old are you? I'm 58. 58. You're actually younger than Father Boris. Oh, uh, my father. Your father. I, I can't make Doc Stores look. I can't make fun of him no matter what you I do. You can make fun of me. I, I'm easy. I'm easy. I just go I make fun there back. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. The blogosphere is just like blood. <laughs> back to you. <laughs> the bloody blogosphere.